Julian, and we will be doing a 30 minute recovery yoga for swimmers. This is great for an off day, for a day where you're doing more of a light training. We're still going to be doing quite a bit of core, mobilizing the whole upper back, the arms, the legs. But it's going to be a lot more focused towards recovery, moving your joints, moving your arms, your all your articulations, getting that blood flowing, helping aid your recovery. So all you'll need is a mat, and this is a great flow for any yoga level. But if you're an uh, intense swimmer or you swim often, this is going to benefit you maybe a little bit more. All right, so let's get on your mat. You're going to come to sit in your mat, and we'll work a little bit on our breath before we start. And this is going to help us warm up our core. It also help us focus on our breath and focus on our practice. So we're going to inhale really deep through our nose, and then once we really fill up the stomach, then the lungs, and finally the throat, we're going to really hold, just hold your breath, and then slowly start to exhale through your mouth, very slowly. Really empty out your stomach, feel how it sucks in and up into your chest as you exhale every bit of air you have. And one more, inhale through the nose. Hold. And exhale slowly. Exhale everything out. Really empty your body. And once you feel completely empty, you're gonna hold. Hold that breath. Just a little longer, feel that lack of air in your body. That strong sensation to breathe. And then slowly inhale. And then just find a normal rhythm. Take a couple inhales and exhales, so inhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose, sorry, and exhale. Just find your own rhythm, really try to relax with each breath, feel a little bit heavier with each breath, and you can start to scan your body. Now we're going to do a long breath hold. If you're a swimmer, you're accustomed to holding your breath for a long time. So just continue with your normal breathing. I'll warn you with 10 seconds so that you can take your last breath and then hold. So keep breathing normally. Just relax your body. Now in 10 seconds, you're going to start to hold your breath. So just keep breathing. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, inhale, and hold. Keep holding your breath, try to relax, ignore that sensation of extreme need to breathe, you're doing just fine, keep holding, and then very slowly exhale that excess carbon dioxide, and inhale. Alright, and with that breath hold, Slowly take your time to come to standing on top of your mat. As you come to standing, feel your body, see how you feel. Really place your feet flat on the ground. Nice feeling of grounding. And then 
look up to the sky, reach the hands up high, stretch real tall, really try to reach as far up as you can, and then fold forward all the way down, forward fold. Release the head, just hang here for a second. Maybe your hands are on your shins, on your ankles, or all the way on the ground. And bend a whole lot into the knees and start to curl your back slowly all the way back up to standing. So take your left hand, make a big circle and reach back. Really reach back a whole lot, and with your right hand you can reach forward, open up the chest. Look back towards your back hand. Try to stand tall as you reach back with your left. Circle back up and come forward as you then circle the right hand up and back. Bring your left hand out in front. Reach back, look back, just breathe here with the small twist, really opening your arms real long. Inhale, bring the hand circling back up, both hands meet at the top, and then Drop the hands, shake up the hands, and start to curl your body, caving the chest, chin comes towards the chest, and start to curl your back, vertebra by vertebra, all the way, as far as you can go, slight bend at the knees so you can really bend as far as you can, and just hold. With each exhale, you relax a little bit more into this forward fold. Relax the head, relax the arms. So start to bring weight towards the hands. Really press into the hands. Lean over onto the hands a little bit. Maybe you go on to tiptoes on the feet. Maybe not quite there. And as you're bringing weight towards the hand, you're going to start to take small tiptoe steps back, walking your feet back, keeping your butt real high, keeping the weight on the hands, tiptoes are just walking away until you reach your preferred downward facing dog. Really press the ground away here, try to bring the heels back down to the ground. So we're going to start to relax the shoulders, we're going to Try to release back and like try to reach your head out as the shoulders drop out. And if you see this from the front, we're going to be doing this and downward facing dog. We're trying to get as much space as we can with the ears and the shoulders. We're releasing back as much as possible. And now we're going to push the ground away and bring shoulders to ears. Really push as much as possible push 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 and then relax again try to get as much space in the shoulders as possible as much space bring the shoulders back neck goes out long and push away shoulders to ears push it and then back down make space and again away shoulders to ears reach long and then back down Shoulders come back, making space. Once again, push, shoulders come to ears. Now bend the knees a whole lot. Come to tabletop position here. Tabletop, we're gonna start to do circles with our shoulders. We're gonna make scapula circles, so back, back, and down. So they go forward. Scapula comes together as the shoulders push back and down. So make a couple circles here. Find your own rhythm to make these circles going back. And find center again. 
Release the hand, shake out your right hand, bring it back down, release your left hand, shake out your left hand, bring it back down. Now we're going to start to circle forward, down, back. Shoulders go up, scapulas come together, come forward, go down, and back. And again, making some circles here. Find your rhythm. Do as many circles as possible. Make the circles as big as possible. Keeping your arms straight, our back as flat as possible. Really have our shoulders, our scapula, and our upper back working for these circles. Couple more. Come back to neutral. Sit back, push the ground away, fold forward. And here you're going to try to press your armpits down as if you're trying to get your armpits down to the ground. And you'll feel this nice shoulder stretch and release. You can relax your head here, let it come down to the ground. But press the hands into the ground and really try to press your armpits towards the ground. With each breath, relax a little bit more into it. Start to come forward onto your hands, back to tabletop. So we're going to reach our right leg out and back. We're going to keep a nice hollow body in our core without bending the back. Keeping a nice hollow body, our leg isn't going to reach too far, too high, but it's going to reach real long behind us. And we're just going to hold this position here for a second. We come to tiptoes on our left side, and then keeping this hollow body, we're going to try to press into the left tiptoes, pressing, 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 all the way back to down dog kick. Now look forward, go into left leg tiptoes, pressing, bring the knee forward, back down to the tabletop. Bend your right knee. Bring it forward and set it down. So let's go into our left side. So left leg goes back. Keep a nice hollow in our body. Left leg is reaching really far back. And once we have a nice position here with the left leg reaching really far back, start to bring the weight onto the right toes. Start to try to lift the knee off the ground. But Engaging the quad and pressing back. Down dog kick. Breathe here. Kick real long. Look forward. Bend the right knee. Start to come forward again. Bring the knee back down to the ground very slowly. With the left leg still reaching far back behind us. Bend the left knee. Set it back down, sit back onto your feet, and come up. So as we're here sitting, I'll turn it for you to see, we're going to paint some circles with our arms. So we're going to reach real big, make real big circles, and reach up real sky, real high to the sky, and then we'll come back down, and here we'll turn, rotate, and try to reach up our back. So again, big circle, our palm faces forward as it goes up, reaching real high, and then circling, real, really reaching as far as we can, like that poster, I think it's Michael Jordan, We're reaching like really high, anyways, keep going, down, and back, and when you reach the back, palms switch direction now, facing back, and you're trying to reach up your back. And maybe you gotta wiggle a little bit because you can't really reach that far. So you wiggle a little bit to get a little higher up your back. Really open your chest. And again, out, reaching, down. Make the biggest circle possible with your fingers. Engaging your core still, reaching really high up. And back down, 
reaching as far as we can, coming back, turning the palms, going up our back, and start to wiggle it up your back. How far up can you go? Just hold it there for a second. Press your shoulders down as you try to wiggle up high as possible. And release the hands. As you're in sitting, come forward towards tabletop. Press into the toes. Stretch the legs up. Downward facing dog. Breathe here in downward facing dog. Start to come forward. High plank. Breathe in this high plank. Slowly start to bend your elbows and start to slowly, very slowly come through chaturanga. Hold this chaturanga. Breathe here. Flip your toes. Start to press up. Open your chest. Look up. Up dog. Now start to lift the hips. Lift the feet, downward facing dog. Take a second here. Start to bring the right leg off the ground and kick up real long. Down dog kick. Come forward, twist, touch your left elbow to right knee. And twist back, kick up. Bend the knee, set it back down on the ground. Now start to bring the left foot off the ground, bend the knee, and kick up real long. Down dog kick. Start to come forward, bend in left knee, twist. Bring the left knee to the right triceps. Twist, twist, twist. Twist back, come back, kick up long. Down dog kick, hold this down dog kick. Set your foot back down on the ground, downward facing dog. Look forward and start to walk forward. Forward fold. Bend a whole lot into the knees. Grab your elbows and almost hug your knees. And then start to straighten the legs, keeping your ribs and your quads connected. You fold forward, holding your elbows and relaxing the head. Bend into the knee again, release the hands, bend a whole lot, and then start to curl your body all the way back up to standing. Shake it all out. Reach up to the sky, and fold forward all the way back down. Hands come below the knees, press into the knees halfway up, and back down forward fold. Press the hands into the ground, bend into the knees, jump or walk back to high plank. Hold the high plank for a second. And just for fun, so we're going to be rotating onto the left side. Left side plank, reach the hand up. We're not staying here, we're rotating through the center onto the right side. Left hand up, reaching real long. And staying here, coming back to center. Holding this high plank here, and now slowly walk the hands a little bit forward for a kind of a long plank. And really pressing into the hands, we're going to start to bring our elbows down to the ground. Very slowly, keeping all that strength engaged so that our elbows are really working all the way down to the ground. And now you're in a low plank here. Breathe. Start to roll over your foot. Left side plank, reach tall, keep that balance. Left side plank. Now come through the center, roll over to the left side, so right side. Right side plank, keep that balance, hips high. Left hand goes up. Now 
come back to center, keep in this plank. It wouldn't really be a swimmer's yoga session if we didn't go through dolphins. So we're going to walk our feet up, pressing the hands really a whole lot into the ground, letting our head go loose, tiptoes the feet, walk as close as you can to the hands, tiptoe the feet, press the hands, tiptoe, hold, and walk the hands, lock the feet all the way back, back to plank. Knees go wide, press the forearms and the hands back, and sit back. Knees are wide this time as we sit back. Hands go long in front. Just breathe here for a second. Relax all those muscles that were just working. Now press into the hands and start to come forward to laying on your stomach. Hands are still here. So press the feet into the ground and you're going to come up to small cobra and back down. So bring the chest back up, release the head. Very small cobra, releasing the head. And then back down. There you go. Leaning the head onto the left side, you're going to press up down, leaning the head on the right side, press up, and then come back down. Just relax here for a second. As you're laying here on your stomach, you're going to start to release the hands off the ground and bring your scapulas up. So bring your hands off the ground in the same position, and then you're going to glide your hands above the ground all the way out in front of you, reaching real tall, and then bringing them back down, goalpost arms, and then the hands are going to start to come back behind. For this, we're going to have to really engage the lower back, the core, the legs are pressing into the ground. So come back to where we were, hands right below the shoulders, or slightly wider. So we're going to press just a bit, we're going to contract the core, belly comes off the ground, flexing the core, our chest and our hips are the only thing touching, and we're bringing the hands off the ground. Once our hands are off the ground, they're going to glide up in front of us, looking forward, gliding up, reaching real long, the belly is tucking in, so we have this nice long arrow for when we're swimming. If we need some rest, we can have the hands held out in front. Touching the tips of the fingers long in front, but we're having a nice tuck. The belly's off the ground, really bringing the belly in. Nice, long, really reach your arms long in front of you. If you can, gaze towards your fingers, but don't lift your head. Just gaze up like when you're swimming. Flex every muscle in your body here. And then slowly glide hands back goal post and all the way back and as they're reaching really far behind us we keep that tuck gr grab the hands behind our back and then pull back and lift our body now our um, stomach can come down to the ground again as we open up the chest and come up puff up the stomach to help you come up and Shoot the hands back long. Start to come back down. Release the hands and just lay here for a second. Bring the hands up in front again. Press into the ground. Come up through tabletop. In tabletop, we're going to walk the hands out long, and we're going to bend again, bring the shoulders down and open, shoulders towards the ground, elbows toward the ground, and the armpits are really going to try to reach to the ground. Flat back, so we're trying to open up the shoulders, helping us with this long line that we're looking for whenever we're swimming. So we can really reach as far as we go. Long open shoulders here. 
the lack of the head. Press up, lock the hands back, tabletop. And as we're here in tabletop, I'm going to lift the left hand off the ground. We're bringing the elbow down to the ground. We're twisting the back. Bring the elbow towards our right hand, twisting. And then we're curling open and twisting up here from tabletop. Now we're twisting, so we're bending the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the upper back, the lower back, as our left elbow tries to come down to the right hand. And then we're twisting open again, reaching up tall. Our knees are on the ground. It's all right. So bend it, bend, 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 twist it in. Twist it in, keeping our right arm really straight. And then unwinding back up, reach it up tall. Last, and then just bring the left arm back down to the ground. So switching the weight onto the left arm, lifting the right hand off the ground, reaching up to the sky, opening up the body here, twisting the lower back and the upper back. So start to twist and bend your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, turn the upper back, turn the lower back and try to bring your right elbow to your left hand this time, looking and crossing and then undo it to reach back up tall. And again, bend, 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 and twist, 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 twist it all. And again, reach up tall. Bend everything in, twist, and then reach up real tall. Bend it all in, twisting everything. Le right elbow to left hand, and then reach up tall. Hold for a second, and then slowly bring your hand back down to the ground. Press the hands into the ground, lift the knees off the ground, press back, downward facing dog here. Really press the hands into the ground here, try to press the heels into the ground so you have a nice long line on your back. Nice flat back, following the same line as the arm. Now bringing the weight all the way into the left hand, we're going to lift the right hand off the ground and reach back towards our left ankle and twist. Twist your whole back. Get a nice release in the upper back and the shoulders. Try to bring your chest and your head through. And slowly start to release the ankle, bring the hand back forward. Now bring the weight onto the right hand, the lift the left hand off the ground. Reach it back. Reach for the right ankle and twist. Trying to bring your body through. And twisting and pulling that ankle. Relaxing with each breath. Release that ankle, bring it back. Bend the tiptoes, go to tiptoes, high um, down dog and tiptoes. Now bend the knees, let them go wide and sit back, really wide legs. Sit back a whole lot. Now you're gonna come forward onto your stomach and then roll over onto your back. As you're on your back, you're gonna lift your right, your left knee off the ground and pull it towards you. And then you're gonna reach up for your left foot and then try to kick that foot up to the sky. But you can't because your hand's holding you. So now your hand's gonna pull your foot down. Your knee comes wide and down. So you're really pulling and pulling that whole inner thigh and the hamstring foot down to the ground. With each breath, release a little bit more. Start to release the foot, but grab your leg so it doesn't shoot up as it goes long, lays out. 
lift your right knee, pull your right knee in, really hug it in. Now reach your right hand up to the right foot as you try to kick the foot up. Really go long, the right hand stopping it from going any taller. Now your right hand's going to pull it back as the knee goes a little wide on the body. You're really pulling it back and down, opening up the hips, releasing the hamstring. Just breathe here and relax. Slowly start to release the foot, hand slides, holding your leg as your leg reaches long. Reach your arms out long above you, really stretch like a cat, really long. And then relax here. Just lay here for a second, you can rest and see how you feel. Quick body scan, maybe you're a little more tired, maybe it was just the right amount of work. Maybe you are feeling more recovered. As you breathe, you scan each part of your body, just to see how it feels. You're welcome to stay here as long as you want. If you have the time to just relax, take this time for yourself. If not, thank you for joining us. I am Julian, and I'll see you in the next Warrior Addict Yoga for Sports. Thank you.